I had Jansen to get us started. Let's play pickleball. Slight miss hit on the two handed backhand from Leia Jansen. Just a little teardrop drop from Federico, but just enough spin to force Hayden to hit very much up on the ball. And that's really the goal of a drop or a dink or whatever soft shot you're hitting. You want them to be hitting up, and uh, Federico, exactly what he did. Hayden there, but Laura Bacher's ability when she pulls the trigger and it's not phenomenal, she goes to the block. She doesn't just keep yeah. foot on the gas and just slap something crazy. She realizes, oh, I didn't get him. Let me go back to soft. Yeah, and Laura Bacher. Rolling that ball just like Anna Bright, pretty similar styles, and Leia Jansen did a nice job neutralizing that in the previous match. That's a great read as he was sliding over well before Rachel hit that ball. He thought he saw an opportunity, and he did. If they're trying to dig holes on purpose and then come out of it, it worked the last time. So we'll see what happens here. That's one of those where I don't really want you to just kill your serve because they're the ones that are in a little bit of a bad spot. But Patrick Wynn is going for it. Well, that was a wild bounce right there. Oh, my. Wow. But, but it, I mean, I, I understand you see drives that split the middle, but no one was close to that ball. I, like, I love to say there's no center fielder. There was no outfielders, period. What happened there? <laughs> Coming in hot, and uh, unfortunately, Hayden didn't get that drive down low enough. And we know what happens when Warabacher gets a, a ball shoulder high, usually doesn't come back. Second serve. A blistering pace early. A lot of quick points and quick serving after points conclude. Little indecision and miscommunication on who's taking that ball in the middle. Yeah, they chatted about it, and I'm not sure on that specific one who it was, whose ball it was, I mean. Oh. If that gets to Leia's paddle, trouble. Yeah, she's going to crush it. And, and I knew that Rachel was going to do something as that ball sat up just enough off of the bounce. And there's, there's a lot of Hayden swinging and <laughs> two, two paddles yes. to get through. One, five, one. Wow. Oh, and just delicate touch. Yeah, that bounced three or four times before it crossed the kitchen line. And man, you, uh, you exclaimed on that dig from Federico, and it was worth it because that was world class. A tough decision there to take that ball out of the air, reached, lost her balance. Gotta let that one hit the court and take a shuffle step over to her right. That's 
pressure from the kitchen line from Jansen and Patrick Wynn. Just, just go, just go, Hayden. Just jumped in front of Lay and just never stopped. Six, two, one. Second, nice return to force Hayden Patrick when to hit a backhand. Six, two, two. Has a quality one, but of course wants to drive it on the forehand side. No go zone. Yeah, I, I mean she's five feet off the kitchen and it's still enough power to do damage. Second serve. Man, great start from Jansen and Patrick Wynn and kind of one of my points of emphasis where they're going to carry over that momentum from their previous match and it looks like they are. Emphatically so far. Point. The interesting thing is the adjustment from a very dink heavy match to a just flamethrower match here. And the thing is, is Federico, he, he's completely fine playing either style, but Rachel's getting a lot of the balls and we, we know she's maybe a three or four max dink situation. <laughs> then something's getting ripped. Right out. And that, that time, that was the lob. Yeah, and that's, that's the hardest one of the three. You have out of the air, which is tough. You have off the bounce standard, which is probably the easiest. And then the half volley lob, the timing must be perfect. Couple times she's tried that in this match. Hayden kind of swiped at it. Uh, that time he was much more on the ball and he did a great shot inside out past Fed. Tons of deception in the paddle of Hayden Patrick win. I've seen Laura Bacher on so many of those speed ups coming her way. That time completely pretzeled. And I know it didn't work out, but that was a nice job by Leia, just kind of letting that go past and trusting Hayden behind her. He couldn't come up with it. But that's a tough skill. So she's tried two of the three, so I'm expecting the next one to out of the, out of the, <laughs> Yes, I am keeping score. <laughs> yeah, the, the year of the lob, I, I get it, but not that one. Not <laughs> starting in this yeah. match uh, it is definitely nothing that is carrying over except their terrific play. They have brought their best stuff right out of the gate. Yeah, just catching the tape. But yeah, just, and you touched on earlier, just wildly different style of match. Uh, you know, not sloppy early play in this one by any means, but not a lot of extended dink rallies either. And I think the, the deception of Patrick Quinn right now is the difference as Rohrabacher is having a bit more trouble than we've seen counterattacking.
Leia Jansen is playing her role so well in the, the two matches that we've yes. seen. Just, you know, picking her spots on offense and just really playing consistent over there on the right side. Double, uh, one was a fifth, but the third and the fifth, never make it to the kitchen when you are serving is, is an issue. It's still a good situation to be in. I know he couldn't come up with it, but that is a pattern that is going to favor uh, Hayden Patrickwin most of the time. different parts of it I loved. Yes, and you hit a drop shot on Fed. You have done something right. And Hayden, he broke rule 37C. There's never two lobs in the same no. point, and he got oh, away with it. He did. Six, nine, wow. And they are within three here. Oh, my. That's the one they want. Yeah, and, and but I, I did talk about the power of Laura Bacher off the line, but she's got to be careful being too far off the line and swinging free. Oh, even took a little off that one. Oh, just with some inside out spin, I like it. Stuck on nine again, and this is a team that we saw in their quarterfinal have a rough start and then play brilliantly, did Rohrabacher and Staxrud. So will that be the case again here in the semi? Boy, that's two now. She's had a backhand and a, that's just a ball to clobber. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's above head high, and she got on top of it just a little too much, I think. like cruise control is anything but I think it's just these two are just going to play these barn burners all day long yeah mean before from an athletic perspective and, and it's just such a joy yeah. fed slide slaps it through the middle and uh, folks the lead is one no one clears their body better than Federico Stacks root. You cannot attack his body. He's out of the way. Oh, no, and she was getting out of the way, and just the movement of her body put the paddle there. That had nothing to do with the paddle swing. No. You're exactly right, Dave. That was her body, and her paddle just followed. I mean, this is crazy. Look at that. I'm just trying to get out of there. Quality dinking from Federico, and I think uh, Rohrabacher was trying to find that left foot yeah. of Leia Jansen and couldn't do it. What an angle that landed in the kitchen, and guess what? Despite almost giving up the whole lead, they. The official ball of the PPA Tour.
So, folks, we had that beautiful overhead by Patrick Wynn, and the other thing we loved, we looked at it really quick before we went to break. He was clearly in the kitchen, but then guess what he did? Dragged his toe outside of the kitchen. That made that shot perfectly legal. Great job by the referees of seeing that drag because that's what the players are doing now, Adam, to clean up because your body motion to hit an overhead is to put it in the kitchen. Yeah, and we had we had four eyes in the booth that didn't see that. No, so we did not. Great job from the referees. Leave, but the spin of Patrick Quinn brings the ball back down. Just deep with the scrambling is remarkable. Yeah, and the offense from Hayden and how many balls came back. Man, what a point. Yeah, and, and Leia, I talked about it in an earlier match, not getting cheated on her counterattack swings, but when Rachel is hitting it like that, she has to shorten it up as she barely made contact with that ball. Having a little egg hunt behind the scoreboard there. Leia's got it out of the shrubbery. Oh, and is even doing some landscaping. Thank you, oh, Leia. Oh, God, that was Dave Fleming right there. <laughs> Three in a row. Zinger. King from Leia Jansen and Rohrabacher catching the tape a couple times on those forehand rolls. And I, I, but I, I'm not sure I've seen that previously. Oh. So maybe that cross court pattern that she loves so much with that roll, something in the back of her mind as, as Leia Jansen is neutralizing that, and maybe she picks her spots to go back behind Hayden more frequently. I mean, the, I know they didn't win, but that drive from Jansen there was heavy. over. Yeah, top of the fourth, 0-0 zero, zero here. Yeah, side out battle early in game two. Fed had a ball up above his eyes. No, Hayden Patrick went firing on all cylinders. Some of the offense he's creating uh, is just confusing his opponents. That's a great backhand overhead. Yeah, he just flipped it down low at the feet. I think that's the best play on those backhand overheads. Much more tough to hit through the court with power. Just get it down. There's the slapper and a nice controlled speed up by Federico knowing that Leia Jansen was well off the kitchen line. So I like that decision. A lot of those flamingo force from Jansen have been good today. Yeah, her balance has been nice. 
And, and it, you said it, either sometimes on the fourth controlling the kitchen line or a handful of speed ups when all four players are up there. like certainly something there's illegal when Hayden runs in front of Leia and Leia hit the winner there's nothing wrong with that yeah I wasn't sure who <laughs> hit the ball unless it glanced off his paddle yeah. into Leia's but I, I don't think that's the case <laughs> I mentioned here's, his baseball days yeah here's a look at the Wow, that's just nuts. Great job by Leia keeping that paddle up there. And I can't tell you, that's happened a ton of times when I've been playing. It's so hard because you don't know where the ball is coming yeah. from, so you can't read it, and it's very difficult to defend when the two paddles are that close together. And he just moves forward so well. Leia Jansen sliding to her right so nicely throughout the day, just a little late that time. cracked that one and not easy either she was moving she was getting over from that returning on the left side back to her right side spot in the front of the court nice volley from Leia that's that's Rachel put herself in jail there she did and you know she she knows she needs to block that ball uh, she's well off the kitchen line and the spin of Patrick Quinn is forcing her to hit up Hard to get out of that. That's bad luck. Flipped off the tape. I think Hayden was in good position, but I also like the speed up from Federico on that floating slice drop. Leia's cracked a couple and they have nothing to show for it here. Fed gets going, that can be points in a hurry. To be in part of this, and uh, with every paddle purchase, you get two free performance level pickleballs. Adam, just buy a paddle and you, you're all set. You got the balls to go with it. There you go. And you said Federico can string some points together in a hurry and big drive coming out of the timeout. One out of two when you're serving is okay. Spin. We talk about Rohrabacher's, but Leia Jansen a little bit of her own, forcing a, a miss hit from Rohrabacher. She's been fabulous on that right side of the court all day. Are you kidding me? That was just nuts. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm not sure what happened there, but apparently she got a paddle on it and dropped it in the baseline somehow. Bed with the little no look after two beautiful blocks. Yeah, to I mean, in that position to go for that shot is so tough, and he hit it very well. Oh, that rode the rails. Leia's hand is still up in apology. I guess the amount of time it spends on the net should be how yeah, long. Okay, yeah. I, I'm, I'm with Just that. Equal amount. Second try to add to the lead here. I mean, it took 11 swats, and I don't know how Patrick Quinn was able to defend his body on the one rifle shot. Yeah, high and hard from everybody right now. A bunch of shots up in the neck, shoulder area. No. 
great leave, and Fed has just slammed. Can Staxrud and Rohrabacher just keep this going? They've upped the ante on the offense, and it's working. They missed that one, but I think one of the keys is they put the ball they put the ball in better spots to not allow Patrick Quinn to be offensive at Rohrabacher. And also, when he has had the opportunity, she's getting a better read on some of his slippery, deceptive stuff. And I think that's been the big difference in game two. after keeping him honest. Yep, she's a competitor. She plays gender with Anna Bright. All of those things add up to being a vocal player yes. out there. there but ready exactly and that's the key I knew Hayden was going to get that opportunity and go for it and she slid the right direction and smoked a forehand and it's tough because he's creating offense in front of Leia and then charging back across to cover his backside and it's harder to let the ball go out when you're in motion like that What a read from Stacks Rude. This team is humming right now. And multiple times in the same situation, he's gone back behind Hayden. Hayden, this time he hooks it to the middle. Well done, Fed. Man, rotation from Leia. Second chance to get to 10. She's, I mean, I, I can't fault anything she's doing, but she, she has definitely taken some cuts from the midcourt uh, a couple times throughout this match. And then another just rocket on the drive. Yeah, I mean, yes, correct. Rocket is, is a phenomenal description. That's a quick hold. And they want to get to game three, but they got to get two more points to do it. And we've seen comebacks all day long. getting in the action on the lob <laughs> and it was a good one yeah and it's not not definitely not known for that but just just too much fed lunging and full ex yes. fully extended and just hitting the ball exactly where he wants to about to happen and the start is going to say a lot. And the energy is right there again. They have not had horrendous starts but then just pick it up and they don't let off. Let's see if Jansen and Patrick Wing can change that. If you 
don't overextend occasionally as a left-sided mixed player. You're not playing properly. Let's just hope that doesn't happen too often for Fed. That's a nice combination. So nice. Uh, right side player with gender or mixed. When you get a good counter or a good speed up, that ball goes to the middle and, uh -huh. and your buddy helps you out and just smacks a winner. It feels so good. I mean, she's looking down at the court, but I think she backswing. I think she came out of that one pretty aggressively. from Federico to stop going all the way over there because <laughs> he jumped in front of the two-handed backhand early <laughs> in that rally. Yeah, it's uh, hasn't tried that much and had a really good look at it. Obviously went long, but I don't think Leia was in a phenomenal position to counterattack. Jams up Rohrabacher, and this is a terrific start. Oh dear. Boy, Rohrabacher was in a horrendous position and got help off the tape. Yeah, it's a big deal to get the ball back at three and it not be four. She's on the initial counters. And I brought it up multiple times in game one that I have not seen her look befuddled. And she's figured it out on the fly. Yeah, great angle. Probably would have worked anyway, but Warabacher was in the middle of the court to retrieve the previous ball, so no chance. Goes for the big serve and pulls it just wide. So they get one. They're on the board. We will switch ends at six. Three, one, one. Good partner communication as well. I mean, Fed's locked and loaded right there. So just a little, little chirp in his ear from his partner to let him know helps a lot in that situation. Did not just hit a left-handed overhead that stunned everybody. Yes, she did. Yes, she did, Dave. Yes, she did. Look at that. It wasn't the most athletic, but then she got a swing and the miss on the other side. Wow. Yeah, that's something that might creep into your game on, like, year six of pickleball, and she found it. And, yeah, like you said, not, you know, she didn't, she didn't hit it 80 miles an hour, but she hit it down, and she worked. had that extra reach. Yeah, it wasn't the tennis trophy beautiful overhead. Yeah. 
know, we, we never like bailout lobs, but I don't know what else she could have done with that ball. And she found it cross court right in the back of the court nicely. And then uh, Hayden and Leia were staring at each other for a second. That's why they lost that rally. <laughs> uh, get that on out of here. Yeah, it always feels good to load up on the right side and they hit it right to your paddle. Nice job from Leia Jansen. Three, two, one. Same thing that gave her confidence against Catherine Parento earlier. Winning these cross court dink battles will be huge for Rohrabacher. Just got lucky. Yeah, it doesn't always have to be perfectly clean. That one just catching the line. And they needed it. It's just, it's just a beautiful thing to watch. Yeah, uh, and you know that quick lead for them. That's why I said they needed it as Warabacher and Stackshirt are finding their footing in game three. Very displeased with her drive on the prior one. A little carryover potentially. <laughs> that was outstanding. Fed with a shimmy after getting just tattooed. That's right. If you're gonna if you're gonna take it, you might as well puff your chest out. send it back where it came from. Yeah, and where, where her court positioning is, she doesn't have to worry about a forehand, meaning Leia Jansen. So uh, uh, a low attack from Warabacher can't falter because it's been working for her, but Leia Jansen with the perfect response. because uh, I think from a footwork perspective, he was there, yeah. just, just no place to go. Nice, so uh, tough drive there, so they don't take advantage. And getting the six first is going to be big here. Who wants it, Dave? Who wants it? Stringing a couple points together right now is going to say a lot about who does. Yeah, a little overextended from Patrick Quinn and a shot that was just money from him early in this match. Now a couple errors and better counterattacking from his opponent across the net. Yeah, and an hour and 53 minute match earlier. Another long grinding three here.
bobbing like crazy now, Adam. Yes, and, and just a phenomenal job by Patrick Benajantin to get back to the yeah. kitchen uh, in the heart of that point and then come up. Fed just needed one more inch to get a better swing on that ball and a great two-handed backhand from Patrick when cross court. Day. She has not left a dink up in the middle till right there. So Adam asked who wants it. Right now, no one's grabbing a hold of it. Still tied at four. And, and you know, you mentioned something about that long match earlier, and I, I don't think the young man is fatigued, Hayden Patrick Quinn, but when you're playing so many tense points, it leaks over to mentally, and you start getting a bit drained. I mean, they, they played like 60 tight, like, oh. I mean, scoreline yeah. tight points, and the tension is real. Beautiful read, and just a little tap. Yeah, just a little tap. Right through the wickets, yeah. too. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So, Rohrbacher and Staxford didn't want it right there. Somebody's going to get to six. Four, four, one. Man, does she have that dialed in now? And it looks exactly like it on balance, Adam. Yeah, so so the deception looking like her other shots and her ability to get spin, that is really a nice combination. And Leah Jansen, she can jump, she's tall, she's got a great overhead, so it's not like she's lobbing over you or I. <laughs> Couldn't agree more with that. that was, I mean, what is a better description than two five eight guys that uh, can jump a couple credit cards? <laughs> So again, the the it's not that they don't want it. Obviously, we're kidding. But uh, the play of the team receiving has just been so much better here. Four, four, one. Boy, and Orbacher has looked down in that area of the court on that side about three times, and those have not been pretty thirds. go with it. I think that yell started before he hit the ball. Oh, without question. The minute it came off his battle, he's like, yes. Yeah, he, he knew it was a freebie. He made a great read again. Yeah, that's a nice job from Hayden Patrick on that low ball. That, that, that's That's been a huge part of the match, and that time he was able to avoid that forehand of Rohrabacher who has been smacking some of those counters. Yeah, emphatic out call from Leah Jansen. And I, he, he had a sliver in the middle, but he airmailed that one right from the beginning. No shot of dropping. So the lead will be at most one for one of these teams. So I have a question for you, David. Yeah. We have Pablo Tellez in the crowd. Do you yeah. believe he is here supporting his men's doubles partner or because Fed is his ride to leave? Yes. <laughs> I agree completely. Defense on the far side, it is a quality ball. Going to be a barn burner, of course. Yeah, and that's where Hayden, man, Leia's forehand drive has been on point. So let her, let that rip and go cause trouble.
beautiful ATP. A lot of spin on that. Gets a miss. Yeah, and great patience, too. I think she took one little half extra shuffle, and that put her in perfect position to strike that ball. Let that thing travel, folks. swing forehand back. That's just what we do here. That's what we do. Big six two. The floor is lava <laughs> and Fed's got the finish. Uh, probably the best extended firefight of the day, and what a time to do it in game three with the chance to advance to Sunday. They've jumped back in front. Just that move probably lay out of the corner of her eye, maybe. I think that favors Rorabacher and Stacksrud right now. So will that timeout cool them off? Oh. Boy, just skidding off the tape both directions. Yeah, that's, that's poor luck, and that was kind of the setup of the point I was talking about, too. Huge drive, and we are at match point. And to make that adjustment. So here we go. Chance to get to Sunday right here. Oh, way too high on the drive from Rohrabacher. So this team keeps finding new lives. And now what will they do with the ball back? Side of his body, back of the paddle. Six, ten, two. Oh, and what a gorgeous shot selection from Federico Stacksrud. And of course, the spot was good, but the pace, if he hits that hard, he's done for. Second chance to close it out. And that will do it. Just like in the quarterfinals, Staxrud and Rohrabacher drop game one and then come roaring back to take games two and three. They're playing for a title on Sunday, Adam. Yeah, and they should. Welcome back, everybody, to the Pickleball Central Indoor USA Championships. And Rohrabacher and Staxrud followed the same script. They dropped game one in the quarters. They dropped one here in the semis and then come roaring back. And they will play for a title. There they are, Fed. I'll start with you. Congratulations. What a run. You said you love playing indoors. Dude, you played two days of pickleball. You have not lost a match. That is something else here at this level. How were you able to find it? It was 6-5 the other way when you switched sides. Did anything change? What did you two talk about? Yeah, I think it was uh, all about like keeping positive energy. Uh, I think when we were like silent, our level goes down a little bit. So I was trying to keep Rachel like, let's keep high energy, high energy, no matter what the score is, uh, every point counts. So yeah, it works. Rachel, nice playing out there. And early in the match, Hayden Patrick win. He's got some deceptive, slippery offense. but And he was catching you a bit early on, and you kind of figured it out on the fly. What was the difference to figure out some of those counterattacks? 
Honestly, just tell myself like to take not too step too far of a step off the kitchen line and then slide a certain way. And then that started working out for me. So just had to figure that out. <laughs> he's, he's slippery. Yeah, great adjustment there. And uh, I know you've made a uh, championship Sunday in women's double with your partner, Anna Bright. What does it mean to you to make one in a different discipline of pickleball? Yeah, it means a lot. I mean, mix has never been my forte. And I think Fed and I, um, this is our third tournament together. So I think it's, that's pretty good. I'm, I'm looking forward to playing with him a couple more. So, Fed, when you are a new partnership like this, how do you gel like this? The, these, these tournaments are stacked with great players. What have the two of you done so you can play at your best as you're trying to figure it out while the plane is flying here? Honestly, every time I step on the court, uh, I know anything can happen. Uh, but I, I mean, I go with, as I say, positive energy and try, try to give my best. I mean, you said quarterfinals, it was the same in the round of 16, it was three games, and also in the first round. We've been playing four matches to three, and uh, yeah, it was kind of funny. I was like, every time we were going to three, I was like, Rachel, this is where we thrive in the yeah. third game. <laughs> well, you've certainly been thriving today. Congratulations, rest up, gender doubles tomorrow. But guess what? You two are playing for a title on Sunday. Congratulations. Thanks. So Rachel Rohrabacher and Federico Stack.